Hey everybody, so I am a huge fan of Kyle and I rarely disagree with him, but I actually disagreed with some stuff he said on Twitter today, so I wanted to kind of talk about it. So what prompted this Twitter thread from Kyle was the fact that an open letter was recently put out between JK Rowling, Barry Weiss, and a few other notable people who feel like they've been affected by cancel culture. One of the people who signed this letter was Noam Chomsky, and people got very upset with Noam Chomsky. And Rightfully so, a lot of people came to his defense. I saw Jane Huger was talking about it. A lot of prominent lefties were talking about it. Um, and rightfully so. Noam Chomsky is incredible. I love the guy. I also know that Kyle loves the guy. And Kyle has actually been on what seems like a Twitter hiatus recently. I mean, for the past, um, it was June 5th, or June 25th was the last time he tweeted. That's almost two weeks. He had not been on Twitter very much recently. Um, but this got him out of it. His, his love for Chomsky pulled him back in. And then he was like retweeting stuff all day. So I was like, ah, my, my, my guy is back. So I was really excited to see that. Um, but I did disagree with an element of what this Twitter thread had to say. So I'm going to kind of go through it. Um, and then I'm going to afterwards give where I feel like I disagree with Kyle. Um, so first he starts off with, I see a lot of pushback to this, but the letter is basically like, Hey, please don't fire people or totally socially ostracize them for having questionable or fringe opinions. Disagree, but don't try to ruin their lives. I totally agree with this, with, with this first sentiment. Um, I think the letter is correct. I think critics are right to point out some of the people on the list being complete disgusting hypocrites and not actually abiding by the principles laid out in the letter. Barry Weiss, for example. Many on the left scoff at invocations of free speech, namely because oftentimes it's deployed disingenuously by pampered elites or right-wing idiots to deflect any and all reasonable criticism. This needs to be pointed out. Totally agree on that front. But also, the principle of free speech is still vitally important, and if you oppose it, don't be surprised when the left is first in line to feel the brunt of censorship, deplatforming, outrage mobs, etc. When you question such threat and power centers, you're always a top target. Facebook pulls down Copwatch and an anti-war journalism page. Pro-Palestinian outlets and con are constantly smeared as anti-Semitic at and attack on hate speech grounds. Chomsky tours the country and calls America the number one terrorist state. If you can't see why free speech is needed, I don't know what to tell you. No doubt the right has bastardized free speech by invoking it as a shield to hide objectively wrong takes. It's a way to not discuss the actual argument and straw man dissenters as intolerant of disagreement. But we can both call this out and actually be proponents of free speech. I find those who openly disdain free speech uh, fascinating because I don't think they grasp the implications. The logic of can cancel culture is dogpiling and, fi and firing everybody with a shit opinion. Enforced across the board, wouldn't this mean that like 40% of the country should be fired? LMAO. Here's a hot take for everybody. I think the First Amendment should be expanded to the workplace. In the same way the government can't jail you for speech, your boss shouldn't be able to fire you for speech. This is actually the socialist position because in a democratic workplace, you have no boss. Seriously, think about how many people have lost their livelihoods because they pissed off their boss by speaking their mind. This is a subtle form, the subtle form of tyranny that we just accept because we're used to it. Don't make it any less tyrannical. Uh, doesn't make it any less tyrannical. Um, so I agree with large swaths of that. Large swaths. Where I disagree with is the idea of expanding the First Amendment to the workplace. I think that there are some pretty pretty uh, clear problems that jump out uh, right away from that. And I don't know if this is more of a reactionary take from Kyle. I know that this is something like, I, as someone who watches him all the time, um, I know that this is kind of a sentiment that's been growing. I've never heard him say explicitly that we should uh, apply the First Amendment to the workplace um, like like I, as like a law. Um, I'm expecting a video to come about it shortly, though, and I'm looking forward to it. Um, but I, I, I think that it's, and, and this is a distinction that people always fail to make, especially with, um, with, with, with conservatives. I mean, conservatives all the time call stuff like a free speech issue and like a first amendment issue when it's just not, when, it, if it's not government censorship, that's not a first amendment issue. I guess it's technically a free speech issue, but it's, it's different. And so I, I, I think that there are some, like I said, there's some pretty clear problems that jump away right up. And people in the comments are bringing this up. I mean, like, what if you are, for example, a black business owner? and one of your employees starts saying the N-word. Should you be able to fire them? I think you should be able to fire them, but that would be infringing on this First Amendment in the workplace. And so I, I, I don't think, and there are a ton of different examples that you could think of, um, where just like, if you like have a business, you should be able to like discriminate on who, like, uh, okay, okay, not on the grounds of like, uh, obviously I, I'm, I'm all for like the Civil Rights Amendment, or the, yeah, um, Civil Rights Act, all, all for that. But what, what, I'm, what I'm saying is, is that you, you should be able to kind of distinguish what speech gets said and he brought up facebook and i think that there is a total i am all for the idea of um kind of legislating uh social media companies as utilities and then we can actually 
regulate that they uphold at least their terms of service because Twitter just doesn't even uphold its terms of service. Um, we can legislate stuff like that. But um, currently, we can't because they're not legislated that way. Um, I think that it makes sense, too. I, I probably wouldn't go full nationalization. I don't really know what that would look like. Um, but regulate them like utilities. I think that that makes a lot of sense. And then that also would help with this. But Twitter also isn't the workplace. I mean, when he's talking about the workplace, I mean, I just... I, I, I don't get this. So, so if some like uh, someone makes like a sexist comment, like can you not fire them? Like I, I don't understand. Like would, is is that what that would mean? Because um, to my understanding, I mean the government can't infringe on your right to make a sexist comment. Um, I, I support that, even though I disagree with that. I don't think they should be able to. Should a boss be able to fire someone if they do that? Yeah, I definitely think that they should be able to. Um, and honestly, I mean, say you're a news or. Not, not a news outlet that's maybe 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 a bad example um but if you are some sort of like opinion if you're if you're the young turks and you hire someone with the expectation that they're they, they, they agree with certain stuff um and and then they start saying other things that you don't that you don't support they start promoting a bunch of like conspiracy theories and they're not like thought out conspiracy theories um sh should they be able to fire them i think they should be able to fire them but like, would that violate that First Amendment? I'm I'm just uh, I, I just don't understand how this would work, um because like uh, the First Amendment doesn't correct like stop you from like saying things that are like incorrect like you can't like libel slander, um you can't like you know yell fire in a crowded building but I don't think that you can like legislate against like people saying things that are wrong, I don't think so and so like I just don't see how you would be able to have that in the workplace I just don't think it's practical I just think that there's so many problems that would come up and I just think that this is more of a reactionary take from Kyle he's a huge fan of democracy in the workplace so am I worker on co-ops love it um but this I think is a little bit too far I would say I still support free speech in principle and I I do like wish that like Twitter um upheld like freedom of speech and that's why i think this should be regulated like utilities um i think there's a huge case to be made that this has basically become like the public square um but anyway i i just I rarely disagree with kyle i'm, I'm expecting a video com um, coming where i hope that he fleshes out this idea and i hope hope that i agree with him once it's been more fleshed out but just like the premise of it i'm not a big fan of let me know what you guys think in the comments if you guys think that i maybe misinterpreted what kyle said or if you also disagree comment down below if you enjoyed this video make sure to like and subscribe and have a great